were playing Geek and Vines. I don't know what the game was about. It looked interesting, so here we are. Hopefully there's Dear voice acting. Reader, yes. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. Her voice sounds familiar. I'm just trying to, trying to get better with the sore throat. The story that awaits I'm you good. has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. I'm actually hungry. I want an omelet. It is omelet. in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one. Her voice sounds so familiar. Normal isn't what it used to be. But that could just be anybody. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. It seems like something erratic would be into as well. I've noticed me and her have a lot in common when it comes to games. that aren't horror games anyways. Hey dad, how are things? Today is the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll be long, oh my god. You'll have the, you, oh my god. <laughs> From here on out, you have been gone longer than you were here. It feels like something, it feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Oh, no. Well, after I banged on your door to your grand answer, and after I checked the pond, and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. I finally noticed the tears swelling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know you were gonna keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. Bro. <laughs> She's not gone. She's just missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Uh, of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, I'll lead the way. Bro, Rolo, you're not. A, you're, you're definitely not subtle. Oh, the dandelion. Like 50 minutes. Oh my God, that's so cute. Is that what you said? I want to do that again. That was cute. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. I want to see it again. That is so cute. Oh my god. I'm actually sick. I wonder how you got sick. But I'm alive, man. Interesting that you're sick and another person is is feeling better. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. And how's that? Rolo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. We need to secure, do this in a secure location. Mission control. 
All right, I'll just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. What are you gonna tell her? I don't know, I think of something. If it's all in the same view, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand has kind of wakes me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. You suit yourself, I won't be long. Tell Grand before heading out with Rolo. That's funny. Okay, so I could, okay, okay, okay. Can I get dizzy? No. Okay, well, let's tell Grand. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Possibly. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. I like that she takes, you know, she's about to keep reading because at the end of each sentence, you hear her take a breath in. Isn't that interesting? Grant had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Some things like what, Gran Bram? Is this my room? Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Chill. Ay. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Hey, I'm happy I went up here. I got I got swag. Swag school is now in session. Grand's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Oh, so we share a room. Now let's go downstairs. Scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Junk. That's a charm? Okay. Finally, a game that rewards me for a looking day around. Of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. Oh, close the fridge bag. Yeah, close it. I want to leave the fridge open. It wasn't raised in a barn. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Hmm. I should make a remix of this song. I should make it trappy. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Yeah, I got a bunch of them, huh? I know. Excuse me. I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Uh oh. Step forth, dear reader. I don't know if I like that. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. The whole story can change off a single Yoda word. Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. I guess I would have got the hide charm there if I didn't go upstairs. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Grandma. Hey, Graham. I'm gonna go hang out with Rolo for the day. 
See you later. Hold on now. Where are you and Rollo headed exactly? Oh, uh, nowhere special. The less Grand knew, the better for everyone involved. We were just gonna go chill for the day. We were just gonna go chill for the day. I love this game. <laughs> we were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. <gasps> The Chronicle? The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Ooh. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. Dang, why she said it like that? This is the only one that won't dramatically. She didn't have to add the word dramatically into that. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. Oh, really? And what are you guys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. Um, well, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with the preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Shoot, shoot. Okay. Bye, Gram Gram. See you in three years. Oh. Oh, and Luca? You and Rolo stay out of trouble now. I know, I know. Get into trouble with Rolo. <laughs> Come on, come on! Woo! Dang it, Rolo. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For a town that saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Chapter 2 